welcome to vlogtober day 17. if you're new here my name is stevie the smile behind stevie m starks and i have been vlogging daily since october 1st i'm challenging myself to do daily vlogging for vlogtober and we are on day 17 okay don't forget to like subscribe and comment and welcome to the family feel free to leave any type of comments, appropriate comments, down in the comments below. Let's talk. I want to get to know you so you can get to know me and my beautiful family. But today whew, has been a busy day already. I took a Marie to school and then I had a campaign to reshoot. Now it was kind of in my feelings because I haven't had to reshoot a campaign in like years so i was like dang stevie are you losing it and then i had to take a step back and think about it i am actually working with one of my dream brands the fact that they chose me to work with i feel so blessed so i it shouldn't matter if i have to reshoot 50 11 times as long as i get this campaign booked and paid and can say that i work with one of my dream brands i had to get out my head but literally, God gave me the vision this morning. As soon as I dropped Amory off, I had baby feet in the bathroom with me because I had to film it in the bathroom. Thank God it's a voiceover campaign. So she was making all type of noise, but you can't see her and you can't hear her. So it all worked out. So that is literally what I did from nine to about 20 minutes ago. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I really should have been vlogging it all along. But then I realized that I signed an NDA, so I can't really talk about the campaign. So I'm glad I didn't vlog it. <laughs> but now that I am vlogging, I just gave baby Fee her snack. She's gonna be going down for a nap in about 30 minutes. I actually need to open two PR packages, so I'm gonna do that with you. And then I need to get to these dishes. You see this? Hold on. You see this? Yeah. I hate dishes almost as much as I hate laundry but yeah so that's what I'm gonna get to as well and then I really don't know what else I'm gonna do today I can always clean if I'm honest yeah I don't know I probably should get back to planning planning my life because I need to get organized in 2025. So, did you drop it? Yeah. So, yeah. I should probably work on that schedule. That's what I'm going to do. do the description for my October day 16 vlog and it's gonna be published in about 30 minutes so I need to do that but while we're on the topic of YouTube as a content creator sometimes it's very hard to keep up with all the algorithms and I am still trying to figure out like the YouTube algorithm SEO all of that of YouTube and so I think one of the benefits of vlogging every day is that I get to try new things to see like what the YouTube algorithm actually likes for example I've been playing around with my titles I've been playing around with my thumbnails I've been playing around with including SEO in the description and every two or three days I go back and see like which videos are performing better than other vlogs because they're literally all vlogs but what i have seen is that the vlogs that where my theme is like a specific topic those do so much better than just like everyday 
daily vlogs. So I'm trying to now think of different topics that I could do for each day. That's a lot of topics, but I think I'm going to brainstorm on like specific topics or questions that I can answer in each vlog. So if you have any questions for me or any topics that you want me to discuss, can you let me know below in the comments? Because I really think that'll help me be able to determine a topic for each vlog. So I was going through some of my makeup that I had, trying to do some organizing, and I realized that I had this in PR and I have not tried it yet. This is Cake Batter Cream Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is by the Black-owned brand Pound Cake. Yes. Pound Cake Cosmetic. And it is a beautiful red, and I feel like this would be beautiful for fall. So I'm gonna try it with you all. I always line my lips with a brown chocolate liner, especially when it comes to like colorful lipsticks. It just, I just like the appearance of it better. So I am going in, this is Chestnut. The OG chocolate liner when these other brands didn't know how to make them and i like to line my lips and i like to go in the corners and fill them in a little bit with the chocolate liner to smudge it And I don't overline my lips at all. Let me know below in the comments. Do you do that? I know some people still do, but okay. This is called Red Bean. Ooh, this is a pretty red. Look at that. All right. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, that is pretty. That is very pretty. Mm -hmm. That is very pretty. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is perfect for fall and winter. It kind of has like an orange tint. I see orange. Oh, and it's like a shimmer to it. That's very pretty. I see orange and red in this lipstick. What do you think? As I'm looking at this lipstick, it pairs perfectly with my gold accessories. Like it has a gold shimmer in it. It is very, very beautiful. Oh, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but it has like this gold tint. That's probably why I'm seeing like orange. Oh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. Because I like this so much, I actually want to go see what other things Pound Cake Cosmetics has. If you see me looking like both ways, it's because I'm recording for my vlog and I'm going live on YouTube. Because I heard that if you go live on YouTube, you can actually help increase your watch hours and your girl is trying to get monetized. So I'm trying to do two things at once. With that being said, we are going to open up this first box. I have no idea who this one is from. Oh, it's by, it's from
from Beekeepers Naturals. I have seen this all over TikTok and I was so glad when they reached out to me because I've been really wanting to try their stuff. So this is what they sent. They sent over the propolis soothing throat lozenges made with honey, vitamin D, and zinc. This is, it says it's not your average cough drops. These are made with na nature powered ingredients that promote immune health while soothing dry, scratchy throat. Okay. I love me a good throat lozenger. Now this I had seen all over TikTok. This is this immune support daily throat spray. If you are on TikTok, you have seen these. You have seen these. Because right now these are running like a sale on TikTok shop or something. And I was able to pick like two, three of their products. And so I knew I wanted to try this one to see what, why everybody raved about this. The next one is their Kids Throat Soothing Pops made with honey, vitamin D, and zinc. The flavors are green apple, strawberry, mixed berry with elderberry. So my daughter loves lollipops now. And when I saw this on their like gifting catalog, I said, she would love this. And so here we are. So whenever her throat starts to hurt, which it really doesn't, but cold season is approaching us. So I said, I'm just going to try this. All right. This is the Superfood Honey Everyday Wellness. It has propolis in it, royal jelly, and bee pollen. This medicinal, medicinal <laughs> grade honey with antioxidants and potent ingredients from the hive that support your immune system and energy. This actually looks like a honey. Look at that. I'm really excited to see what this tastes like. The next PR package I'm about to open is from Origins. And it's a bigger one. Look at that. And it says, Bouncy Skin is Calling. Ooh. All right. Let's open this up. Protect your skin's future with Youthtopia. struggle oh this is so pretty let me turn the camera down so you can see it okay it says join can you see this on the camera join our youthtopia okay oh it's like a drawer <laughs> oh guys they have real apples in here. I'm glad I opened this and did not let this sit. Apples in them. <laughs> that is so funny. I am so glad I opened this. So it says, powered by apple stem cell extract, our antioxidant rich apple peel ferment. And if you don't know what that is, cause I have it all right here. It helps maintain skin's vitality and target skin's first visible signs of aging. The apple stem cell extract accelerates surface skin cell renewal to help keep skin looking younger and longer. Interesting. So they have sent me their peptide plumping apple cream. The refining apple peel. It says to shake well before use, apply daily on clean skin. Use with cotton pad. So this is their apple peel. Hey, I wish I had some instructions on how to use those two products. Hmm, I'll have to look it up. But again, they sent me their Youthtopia. This is their Youthtopia collection and it's their peptide plumping apple cream and their refining apple peel. And I'm interested, I did not know that there were so many benefits to apples. 
That's so interesting. Amory is back home and she had an amazing day, but I need to show you her outfit. Cause today was cowgirl day. Smile. Turn around. Ooh. Now like, make a circle. Uh -huh. And show off your boots. Ooh, look at these boots. Mimi did so good with these boots. Smile. They're killing it with their bedtimes. I am so proud of them. And they both went down so easily. It was a breeze. Bedtime was a breeze. But if you've made it this far, I want you to comment found. <laughs> I know that's really random, but I'm looking at Hulu right now. And this is the new series that I am starting. And I'm actually going to finish episode two while I'm editing this vlog. And let me know below in the comments, what are you watching on TV? Do you watch TV? Or do you watch like YouTube? Because I'm torn. I'm half and half. We don't have a we don't have cable, so we stream everything. So I literally watch like my streaming services if I have a show that I want to watch. Otherwise, I'm watching YouTube vlogs, tutorials, all the things. Okay. I know I normally end the vlog way before I do my nighttime skincare routine, but I was like, let's try something different. I get so many compliments on my skin, even when I'm breaking out. And I realized I have never had an in-depth nighttime skincare routine for YouTube. So I figured I would incorporate it into this vlog. Well, at least one of the three routines. And you're probably like, you have three nighttime routines? Technically, yes, but it's all under the umbrella of skin cycling. And skin cycling is basically a rotation of products based on what you want to do to your skin. So for example, night one for me is exfoliation night. So I'm using an exfoliator. Night two is retinol night. I'll be using a retinol. Then night three and four are considered recovery nights. And that is when I don't use any actives and I'm just allowing my skin to recover from using the exfoliant and the retinol. So tonight is exfoliant night. All of these products will be listed down below in my description box. The first thing I love to do and have to do before my morning and nighttime skin routine is put these wristbands on. I did not realize how much I cannot stand water dripping down my um, arms when I'm doing my skincare routines. These have been game changers. All right. And excuse my nails. I'm going to be soaking them off tomorrow. So just don't pay them any mind. After I put my wristbands on, I always, always, the number one step is to double cleanse, whether I'm wearing makeup or not. On recovery nights, exfoliant nights, and um, retinol nights, I am double cleansing my skin. Now, when I wear makeup, I like to use the Elemis Pro Collagen Naked Cleansing Balm. I tried, ooh, 
I don't know, but it was a scented one. It was yellow and it kind of burned my eyes when I went to go take my makeup off. And then I found that they had a sensitive skin one. Oh, this stuff is amazing. It makes my skin feel so soft and it gets rid of my makeup. But that does not mean I go, I don't go in with another cleanser. And my cleanser that I have been using probably for four months now is by Shani Darden and it's the Cleansing Serum. So first, I take my makeup off with this and then I go in and cleanse my skin a second time with the Cleansing Serum. And you use this on dry skin. Okay, next is for the exfoliator. And I used to use the Paula's Choice BHA exfoliate, but Alpine Beauty sent me their Pore Perfecting Liquid with 2% BHA and Borage, Borage? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I started using this when they sent it to me. As you can tell, I am almost done. And I have been loving this stuff. So I'm just gonna read what it actually does. <laughs> no, my face is dry already. It's a leave-on liquid exfoliator with 2% salicylic acid that helps minimize pores, improve clarity, and reveal brighter skin without stripping or drying. This is all on Alpine Beauty's website. The, bor the Borage, borage extract soothes and actively hydrates. The salicylic acid or BHA exfoliates pore clogging debris Vitamin C visibly brightens and protects against free radical damage, and Tremella mushroom hydrates and maintains skin's natural pH. They are correct when I say that this stuff does not dry your skin out. That is one of the reasons why I love this stuff, and I'll probably restock during the Sephora fall sale. But I literally put it on a cotton pad and just wipe it all around my face. And my skin feels so smooth after using this. Now, there is a difference between chemical exfoliants and physical exfoliants, which is, oh, I know you've probably seen it by Dermatologica. Yeah, that's the brand that it has like those grainy particles and you add water and mix it's a, it makes a mixture and then you exfoliate your skin. That is physical. This is a chemical one. So you can't really feel um, anything that exfoliates your skin physically. It's all based on the ingredients that is exfoliating your skin. While this dries down, I normally go in with my eye cream. Now, <laughs> I am almost out of this one but this one is the milk mushroom better aging eye cream by Beekman 1802 I have seen such a transformation with my dark circles because of this eye cream it is so good y'all so good that's why I'm almost out now that the exfoliator has dried down, I go in with the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I was sent this and I absolutely love how hydrating this serum is. And it's supposed to help with dark spots and fine lines and all the things that I'm trying to work in, that I'm trying to work on now that I'm getting older. But I literally just smooth this in. I rub it all in and you can instantly see the hydration. Oh, it feels so good on the skin. 
And then I pat, 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 pat. <laughs> I mean, look. Literally looks like I have glass skin. Oh, it's such a good serum. Well, that is drying down. I'm gonna apply my lip oil. I'm gonna apply my eyelash serum by Grande Lash. I'm going to apply my Olaplex Brow Serum. I have talked about all of this in the last vlog of my recommendations of skincare products for the Sephora Fall Sale. All of these serums, actives, everything as at Sephora. And then the final step to just bring it all together is the moisturizer and I was sent this by belief it is their true cream aqua bomb this is such a hydrating moisturizer I absolutely love it I tried using it in my morning skincare but it made me a little bit too oily so when I ran out of another moisturizer I said let me just try this and I absolutely love it in my nighttime skincare routine. So this is what my skin is looking like after completing my exfoliant night of skin cycling. I should have led with this, but I have oily combination skin. If you have any questions on my nighttime skincare routine or the products that I use, please leave them down below. Now, the last thing that I've been doing this week, I th yeah, I started this week, is I have been using these whitening strips. I actually heard about them on TikTok, but I bought them on Amazon, so I will put my link down below. But I can see a difference in my teeth already. I was using their, their coconut pulling oil, but for some reason, like if the oil got on my chin, I would break out. So I was like, I'm just going to try their whitening strips. And they were relatively affordable. And when I tell you I see a difference already, it, it it's just amazing to me. So I put these on. I leave. It says you can leave um, the professional one on for 30 to 45 minutes. And that is exactly when I finish editing this vlog. So I'm going to put them on now. And there we go. So by the time I'm finished editing this vlog, I will take these off and go to sleep. But that is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you come back for day 18. Love you. Bye. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I got